Welcome back guys to Trails in the Sky the Third, where last episode Aina and Sherazad continued their escape through the Grand Soul Sewers, avoiding their pursuers as the junior bracer reminisced about a harsh past in comparison to the highborn Aina as the two's worlds collided, learning more about each other as they hid from the men in black for the night. Having a time limit then to reach the castle the next day, they rushed to the governmental chamber assisted by Kurt in defeating Aina's uncle's goons as Aina has just donated all the money away. <laughs> If there's no money. Cheers! <laughs> I can't believe you gave all of that money away. Okay, maybe you don't need all of it, but you'll still need some to live, right? I suppose you're right. What I did was a little strange, but I made my mind to do this from the very beginning as a matter of principle. When I said I didn't do any of this for the money, I meant it. Still, congratulations on becoming a senior bracer. I'm not sure what the difference between a senior and junior bracer is, but it's clear this is something you really worked for. It means I have a lot more authority, but I've got a lot more responsibility to go with it. It also means I get a nice new badge, but I was never interested in that personally. Oh really? Yep. I'm relieved to hear that. I see you're finally beginning to understand the necessary mindset to be a bracer, Sherazad. Crap, it's Kurt. Um, this... This might look like alcohol to you, but it's actually... Water? As today is admittedly a cause for celebration, I will turn a blind eye to your drinking tonight. Just don't go drinking so much that it interferes with your ability to do your job. Fine. M what is it? As you're fully aware, Sherzard, you are now a senior bracer, which means you must behave with more responsibility. That means I expect to see an end to you drinking in every free moment between jobs, day or night, and sneaking out at night for it too. I also expect to be no longer discover that you've been taking advantage of the busiest times of my schedule to behave like a drunken lunatic. I... Uh... Is that really what you usually do, Sherazad? You sound like a tried and true troublemaker. Don't say anything. Are we clear? Y yes, sir! <laughs> There's no need for the sir, of course. We're both senior bracers now, which means we're both on equal standing. Why? I'm hardly ever even a veteran. I'm still very much a rookie. Are you now? Says who? Regardless, this isn't what I'm here to discuss. The matter I came for concerns your uncle, Ina. I came to make you aware of the fact that the Bracer Guild is capable of asking for leniency in his punishment. Hiring a Jaeger corpse for personal use carries a very grave punishment, you see. A, a Jaeger corps? Are you referring to those men dressed in black? Yes, they're one of many corps that are known to be active here in Lebel. Recently, there have been many such courts making their way into the country, and they've been successful in finding work too. Hiring them is, of course, very illegal, but with the army as slow to act as they currently are, I've taken this chance to take care of them, though, so we shouldn't see any sign of any in the near future. T take care of them? All of them? Now it makes sense. So it wasn't a coincidence that he showed up when he did. He's been investigating all of the Jaeger Corps in Lebel so that he could start an operation and wipe them all out. No wonder he seems so swamped. The Aegers in this country have been targeting wealthy individuals in hopes of getting them to sign contracts. There have been countless cases like this all around the country of late, with civilians getting caught up in it at a worrying frequently. Frequency is what you mean. And a worrying frequency will correct you. G goodness I believe the case we're dealing with here was no exception, in that it was the Jaegers who came to your uncle rather than the other way around. It's hard to feel too much sympathy under these circumstances, but in a sense your uncle was a victim in all of this as well. What? What are you trying to pull? Just because the Jaegers approached him and not the other way around, he's a victim. And he deserves to get off with a slap on the wrist. And Aina's supposed to be okay with that. He tried to kill her. Shara, please calm down. There's no need to shout. I, I'm sorry, but still. No one is saying he doesn't deserve to be punished for his actions. All I'm here to say is that if, and only if, Aina wishes, 
the guild is able to request leniency in his sentencing. That is all. Uh, oh. Phew, you scared me for a minute. You need to make your decision immediately. Questioning him will take roughly a week as it is, based on what I've heard. You bear no responsibility to even make any choice at all. So please don't feel as though you have to think long and hard about this. Just please be aware that the possibility to forgive him exists. That is all. Alright. Incidentally, should you ever find yourself in need of assistance with anything in the future, the Bracer Guild is always available to you, aid you. We recently, or certainly not omnipotent or infallible, but we'll at least strive to do what we can to aid those who want our help. Thank you. I'm really sorry for not telling you the whole story from the start, too. Please don't be. With the situation you're in, your reluctance is quite understandable. Furthermore, one who is worthy of being a full-fledged bracer should be able to tell roughly what a client wants just from looking at them. They should also not, under any circumstances, try to chase away a potential client in genuine need. Ouch. I've still got a long way to go then, huh? Certainly. But don't we all? Alright, i said what I came to say, so I'll be excusing myself now. Oh, really? You could stand and join us for one drink. I'm afraid not. I still have my duties as guild receptionist remaining after all. As for you, Shara, be careful you don't have too much water. I better not. Water on me. Crud, why is he always going to be so serious? Oh, actually, how about you, Aina? Can you handle your liquor? If you can, you should join me for a few drinks. M well, all right then. Uh, um, you're sure? Really, really sure? Of course, you've done so much for me, so how could I refuse? Joining you for a few drinks is the least I can do. Does she already know at this point that she's a the supreme weight? <laughs> then let's get a boozing. Tonight's gonna be fun. I can't wait to see what a prim and proper girl like her looks like when she's drunk out of her mind. This is gonna be awesome! Well, cheers! And that's when Sherazard learned. I'd seen girls just like her on the other side of that river. Silky blonde hair, beautiful blue eyes, smooth skin. The blessed, blissful children on the other side, dressed like royalty and smiling like angels. Seeing them, I asked myself the same question over and over again. Why aren't I on that side? I envied them. I hated them. I both longed to be one of them and rejected their very existence. I knew the answer to my question from the very beginning. I despaired in myself. I always tried to avoid others getting too close, believing to be what I needed to do in order to live. But I could never completely get rid of the tiny lingering hope deep within my heart. And eventually, no matter how long it took, the day would finally come when I could smile from the heart. The day would come when I would finally be able to accept and forgive myself for how I was. The next day, Ina visited the Bracer Guild and registered a desire for her uncle to be shown leniency in his sentencing. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to accompany her, having been drunk under the table by her the night before. And so ends... Side story... Client. We received the Heaven's Eye and 4,000 Mirror. Another quest done! What is our augment giving us? We've got Falcon's Eye, we've got Heaven's Eye. Combines the effect of Eagle Eye and Information. That's pretty good. Who do we have of info at the moment? No one. Haha. <laughs> That'd be a good thing to put on then, wouldn't it? That would be a clever thing indeed, sir. So who can we put that on? Do you need free move? Why do you have eagle line information for me? Hold that. In the meantime, you got Falcon Eye, which of course does Eagle Eye 2, right? That's basically Eagle Eye 2, isn't it? I don't know. Anymore. I don't even know! Well, back to the Hermit's Garden we go! Wow, this session has been door after door after door after door. We've only done one dungeon in the Lockler after beating the boss there. So let's go and f go back to the Lockler and find out 
who our last potential bracer is on our way. We've got Shera ready to go. Her strength is a little bit low, some would say. I wish we could buy her a whip, but something tells me we'll be able to buy one while we're in there. Amagumo. I wish I didn't buy that. We're basically ready to just go straight away to where we were before. I'm guessing. There you go, Cher. Have all that beautiful CP. Right then. Should probably save now that we're out of there and all. Now that was a long time spent, wasn't it? Let's get another person who will lock another moon door. Most likely, yes. No matter what, there's probably a moon door being unlocked from getting another person. That's for sure, Serenity. That's for sure. <laughs> right, to St. Chloe Forest we go. No, we don't. We go to Lockler Lodge. What am I talking about? Here we go. I think the only crying shape is not funny what happened to Oliver's brandy shower. He rotted away his luxurious hair and it took a while to grow it back. That's canon now. Right, Grimsel Fortress! It's time to go within. Do you think there's going to be that stuff that requires, like, um, what is it? The thing... Night Vision Goggles. Now this is one fancy looking training facility. It's crazy complicated inside too, Estelle. <laughs> Estelle and I had a blast trying to get through it when we were here. Kevin's now called Estelle, by the way. Especially the rooms where it's pitch black. Those were just awesome. Not. Great. They've got them in there too. I remember having my fair share of trouble with those too. Can't wait to see what kind of traps we bump into inside them. Anyway, as far as I can tell, this should be our final ordeal on this plane. Let's get this done. Right. I just realised, who's got yin-yang? Oh! Well, Kevin's got yin-yang. But now that we've got here, we know exactly what's taking place now. Alright then, so let's see if there's any chests at the side. We start with chest search. Alright, let's go in. Doesn't seem to be anything out there. Was the music like this the first time I came in here? Well, let's start examining Glimsel Fortress. We've got a spiral grill. Hey again, wait, where's that guy you were with before? I wasn't with a guy last time, it was all girls. Alright, so we need card key. There's a slot to insert a card, some kind of ID seems to be required. Well, I guess we're gonna go find that first. Any robots around here? Oh, there's monsters. Right. This is the moment you have all been waiting for. It is time to see how much damage Annalise does in one hit. We've got Yin Yang, so we'll get. in this game, we had characters that were very much side characters like Josette and Annalise in previous games where you didn't really want to use them, all of a sudden come in and because of some kind of weird weapon that they get or obtain, they become our damage dealer. What the hell is with that weirdness? Oh, well, that's that guy. Card key. No material bomb. There's no greater void than the one between your ears. What? Saying some mean things to me! Oh, no, kid. Got death blow for share coming up. Joshua's got some quite nice physical damage too, to be fair. Oh, Annalise Critical! Annalise Critical! When did she get Whirlwind Dance? A rolling attack that draws enemies close suction. That do attack too. That's a lot of damage. 
Which one's actually going next, by the way? It's that one. Death blow it is. Death blow sleep. Broken damage limit. Not done yet. Alright, well, Analyse is going to get some levels on it. To boost her up even more. Yep. There's a rat in that corner. I'm going to beat that rat. Well, the rat even has a proper sleeping animation. Great. On its back. We have a vanished rat. Watching that damage every time is just sick. Oh, what? You didn't do enough? It's back! It's the rat! And somehow that sped him up. What's with that? Well, 36 damage on you. We will easily take you out. And then Analyse will just get you to walk in and one-shot everything that ever exists. You are! Am I? Ah, I think you are now. Uh, which way to go to get this card key? Ah, uh, we'll leave you, Ray. I'm after a card key first. What? Okay. Pull this lever. Power's now on. Great. Don't know what that means. <laughs> so all the energy has already been started. Great. Um, not sure what we were trying to get that to apply to, but I'll take it. I'd like to see what her suction does. But even on a preemptive now, these rats are going a lot faster than they were before. <laughs> I think any boss fight we take with Annalise in it, we're just going to have to cast Clock Up on her, right? <laughs> clock Up. Do her a strength up buff. I am invincible. Maybe cast yeah. Press on her to cancel out the defense and then just watch the insanity. Got a softening bar. Mm -ch, mm -ch, mm -ch, mm -ch. Where are the rats looking at the corner like that? That's the power to that. I didn't even check the door. I just went straight for it. All right. Well, the car key's got to be in there. Who to go for first? Oh, I wish that was Annalise going twice, you know? Can you just imagine the silly with that? Sharon needs a new weapon. Hopefully there's one found in here, to be honest. Send in the lace. She didn't one-shot the guy. I am disappointed. Of course, we got spells like that too to think about. All right, Joshua, you got that guy. Good job. That's that. Let's move out. I'm just always surprised as well by how this game does this differently. Add an ID card. We tell you to have a barrel of fun, but come on, we don't call them treasure barrels. No, we don't. You are right. What are you saying this silly stuff? Nope. Did not get a preemptive. Should we see what suction does then? Does it actually attack? Oh, so that's what that attack she did was. It does not actually attack. It just pulls them into a range so they can kill me better. Foxtail creates an opening during which to steal items as well. 
Interesting. Well, now my EP's going. I wish suction didn't attack. Sad times. Oh god, these guys go a lot. This isn't exactly good for me when I think about it. Sarah can't actually do anything. Yeah, it was the fishing noise, wasn't it? Oh! Not preempting them is a bad idea. Also, ow, 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 death blow coming. Mighty peas! Why you do this to me? Mummy, I don't like them. But take your my peas. Can I just get a cancel spell that will land before he will anyway? Because what if I miss? Can you imagine that? Right, another level up. Good times as we get even more beautiful Seppet. Seems to be the place for that Seppet, really. It was back this way I need to go, yeah? Shara, is it just me or is this place layout way different from the real version? You thought the same too, huh? Completely different how? The placement of the rooms and the corridors. Everything. I suppose it's possible that it was remodeled after Annalise used it. While the sealed area's layout was completely different from the real ones too, it wouldn't be the first time this has happened. Probably something our foes did intentionally too. Exactly. We'll have to be very careful. I didn't want to straight reuse the area then. Nothing hiding under the stairs. Uh, what? Okay. Cut off path things. It's nice to know. Oh, are you a monster? Never. Juggernaut has been obtained. I should move to a palace. That way I could be a court chester. Yes, you could. Right, the Juggernaut is a 100 increase. Does it also increase ATS as well? Good, good, good. Ooch, 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 ooch. Oh yeah, I forgot to save over the, uh, the bugged file. Oh, you're a weird looking bird guy. Oh, I have seen one of you before in a boss fight. Oh, what? Oh, whoa, whoa. It actually is boss level? Kidding me. Well, that's interesting. Drain CP is also an amnesiac. It's a bird man that's an amnesiac? Frunch! Huh. Hey, Turkins! <laughs> Fletch! Definitely Fletch. I don't have enough damage to kill it. So if it's gonna take it anyway. That's one way of doing it. Not done yet. Interesting to see add a boss level of HP to it and then barely gave us any experience. Didn't really have any spell weaknesses to tailor ourselves to either. Go switch that. So if we come back, we have to realize that we have to switch everything as we go along by the look of it. Another Birdman over there. Let's see what rooms we got ahead of us. Nope. 
worth not changing that over then, wasn't it? There's a ram powder. Buy from Wimes. What am I? A shop. Yes. Now there's a birdo man. Question is, I don't know if there's anything good to look at the other side of things. Oh, he's weak a little bit to spells. Okay. Still need to kill this blighter, though. It's interesting the enemies seem to have gotten a little bit faster. Basically, at this point, I need Annalise to be a bit faster as well. So she can do sick damage. Seal. Would it be nice? I think I can kill it, just... Oh, actually, I don't think I can. I'm gonna see what his attack does, then. He didn't forget stuff! Well, I didn't steal any CP, either. Maybe I should put a the action free. This on Shara onto Annalise, like no joke. Oh yeah, that goes to a dead end. I win this round. Is this just the same corridor? I don't know where I'm going anymore. Still gotta check out some of the places we've seen back. This doesn't this passage lead on to another room? Okay. I'm a bit confused by this room layout at the moment. But if I'm right in saying, if I go back here, wonk that switch. Wonk that switch? Yes, great with Nothing down there, nothing down there. I guess I should kill the Birdman just to make sure, even though I have seen that there's nothing down there. The curiosity on that factor still remains. Alright, well, though all of them are 80 delayed, we can easily get them down. Sherard does not do enough damage. Do an aerial in the middle of them. <laughs> Big old spell worked good. Annalise is about to go again. <laughs> Bit of an overkill. I am invincible. Or am I? But here's one of the observations we can say from Annalise's wicked weapon experiment, you call it that. Simply put, spells are more easier to make do high damage than physical melee it seems. But then of course that's without the buffs as well. So once I get those buffs going, we'll be laughing. Okay, that's to there, is it? Oh, balls. So I just did all that for no reason. Apart from I guess I know which way is the uh, keycard place. So I guess that works. Always look on the bright side and all that, right? Shara's off on the green path as I activate that. Oh, hello. So you need to be able to switch to this side as well, by the look of it. Poor Shara always getting left behind on the path. Hi, bit man. Why do you have actually such massive HP? That's actually a fair thing to work out. Ha! 
Your mahusive HP level is disconcerting. I would like him to stay asleep, really enough, but the spells aren't going to keep him that way anyway. Uh, do I think the other guy's going to die? Probably not. Uh, Ariel. Where's Ariel gone? I'm missing it. Joshua gets another go after this. What your hens comes out nicely. Uh, doesn't do that much damage. And then Joshua hasn't got crazy ATS, does he? Okay, one go. Let's use Analyze can't kill two. So if I use a steal from Whip here, I can also heal three. We should finish off the job. No. Silly bird guy lived. He's pecking me. He missed. Analyze will do him. If someone asked you what Finch's name was in real time, you might panic to say the wrong one at this point. Because everyone, if no, if someone wants to know Finch's name, saying it wrong is correct. It is. It really is. My ID card 2 is obtained. After getting the inside, you decide to polish the outside as well. It's weird good boys like that. And girls. Why are you in my way? Why? Actually, I wonder if that's a good idea or not. I think if Annalise attacks, she'll knock it inwards. Can you share as the follow-up person again here? Yeah, Joshua might have the hands, but kind of doesn't have the ATS to back it up. Ah, let's go with another Sylvan Whip. If I can kill small guy, small fright. Makes it a little bit easier, doesn't it? Joshua cannot kill this in one shot. <laughs> Keeps missing with that peck, though. But I would like to know why... Boss-ish monster. Or boss adds monster. Has so much blooming HP as a normal monster on the field as well. No nerf or anything? I'll take the extra item, thank you. Alright, what's next? What I get? Jury bomb! Hooray! <laughs> it's all act excited! So it can't be that long until we reach one of those rooms. Now I know that even when blinded we can use arts, but if I don't have if I don't have a night vision goggle and I get into a fight, can I still act? After all, it did make sure to give us one before we got into that kind of issue last time. Door two. I mean, this is the end dungeon of the area, so I expect to be a bit more complex. Better not be a treasure chest under there. Right, where off to next? Ah. <laughs> if there was an enemy. Oh, there is enemies in here. Bloody hell, there is a guy. Let's 
see him near the green light. Can I attack people in this? When there's like, like, what am I supposed to do? Engage, not engage. Well, there's light over here at least. There's night goggles, cool. This, this is not what it looks like. Well, at least I got what I wanted. So now I can actually see. I guess it would be best to do that one then. Lens of a special code and the enhanced incoming light. It'd be Shara with it. Or do I give it to Annalise? What if she gets confused? I'd be doomed. Annalise is the physical attack damage dealer after all. So what was that enemy that was lurking in the... In the Nefer. Was it Birdman, was it? That was one of those bats. Alright, this door can be opened as no orbital energy is flowing to it. I should have tested that when we were in SC and seen if, uh. Oh. Well. Couldn't see the guys that were literally around the corner. That bear not be confused. I was worried for a second there. Okay, we have a fair few enemies trying to beat the crap out of me. Always a nice fort. Now how do I respond to this in niceness ways? Some spells I can get going before. Others I cannot. Aerials will be fine though, right? Basically, lady over here could just go for one of these. Yeah, it's up to you. You can't really critical them. But I know you can get spell off relatively soon. Oh, really? Not relatively soon at all. I mean, I guess another area will do the job, right? If that's an MP, that would be crazy. And now I should have brought more spell casters into this place for this exact situation. <laughs> Not bad. This is a problematic place as Joshua and Sharon level up. Alright, well, I'm just sneaking around the edge of the boxes. Oh, there's the orb power. Oh, light! Let there be light, they said. Do I keep the night vision goggles on the now just in case I walk into another dark room? It's better than constantly switching, after all. Hey, what are those things is here? A pink Mooma is back! A pink <laughs> Mooma with its noxious snot. Alright, anyone can attack to finish this job. Rats will be fighting the whole time we're here, after all. Oh, are we done already? I need one Annalise to get another level. That's what I'm looking for at this point in time. A tiny amount of fire step if I'm getting as well. It's very small. Would like more. Ah, see, that's why we keep night vision goggles on, right? That has no energy flowing to it. At least this time when we press a switch, we actually get everything else opening to us too. So I guess that's not too bad. Let's get out of there, Cher. You 
be draining Analyze. Someone's walked into that attack, so I'm fine with that. The other thing is we could just go... Oh, we didn't die. That's actually kind of not bad. Because we can just use an ascension on the other one. Joshua's Hellgate will kill... A low HP guy. Because Cher is taking too long to cast at this point. Nice seal. Darkness is making very splinter cells, is it? What's his name again? Sam something? Sammy, Sammy, Sam, Sam. Curia Balm is obtained. Your luscious locks of hair and nothing compared to my lovely locks of steel. I think you'll find my lovely luscious locks, 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 locks of hair. Will soon be replaced with steel because that's all I'm going to be able to put up there. Also, moon glasses. I'm going to have to start charging at this rate. What are moon glasses? Glasses of CCF that somehow block poison and blind. Because you need anti poison glasses. I mean, to be honest, anti poison anything is pretty good, to be fair. Give me the power! Are any treasures just hidden in this bric a brac maze? Doesn't seem to be any more enemies in it, that's for sure. Oh, nope, they are still there. Alright, well, that way's next. Bam, 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 bam. Oh, I thought there was a chest chest there then. That makes me wonder if we're going to come upon a stone very shortly. Oh, what the hell? You got this stuff going on again? Hello, we've added elements from your previous locations. Do you remember that dangerous thing? Huh. Oh, Moomin guys actually don't take much damage, do they? Huh. Oh, well, from Cher. I'd say Cher is definitely our weakest person at this point. Let's just finish him off with one orbital bombardment. in this place are we to that spell after all? Oh, wait. Wait, how did that even work? Honest question. Where's that jetting from? <laughs> you have me at a disadvantage. I can't quite work it out. Jam, it's Jam Whisker, is it? Sam Fisher. I remember Sam Fisher Price. Good. Fisher Price toys. Got him. All right, what's next? Four hundred more experience. Well, three hundred ninety-eight-four. If you want to be pedantic. Quickly correct himself when he's realised he's getting it completely wrong. Get him! Shun, thank you very much for the full year of subscription. Thank you. Appreciate it. Really do. Let's keep on fighting! Thousand damage, please! We're gonna nuke them the same way we did. Oh no, we'll save Kevin's stuff now. Everyone else is near enough to fight the other guy. 
sub anniversary. Me and you together a year. I don't know how long me and my wife have been going out at this point in time, but we did just have our five year anniversary, so that's cool. Our wood anniversary. You're supposed to present each other with wood. I offered her some, but she didn't want it. That's a chest joke for you! Right! We just got ourselves some more man's only boots. Of course, they're ATS down boots. They are superior, unless you like ATS. To be honest, with the extra speed it gives me, it's probably definitely worth putting on. I'm gonna grab this. Silver and plus? Get in here! I thought we could be friends! Maybe. I'm guessing I can't be burned by the stuff above me. Silver Earring plus uh, Defense plus 50, ADF plus 600 prevents poison. Blimmin' hell. And we've already got an ADF one, but it has some negatives to it. That doesn't have any. Hey, here we are. Let's see if we can buy Shera a new fancy whip. I'd imagine there's one at this point. Need a whip up by a hundred, but better than what we've got currently, so we should we should get it. Only costs eight hundred as well. No one else seems to have a better weapon that they can have at this point. Something tells me that whatever this boss is going to have, it's going to have poison, right? We've got several items that are anti-poison. Three shields, etc. and P4 action 4 is available. EP cut 4 is of course available. We'd have the stuff for that. I'm going to quickly buy myself an action 4, I think. Alright, who to give that to? You got an action 3. I'm just wondering if I could give you an action 4. And then just let you go to work. We'll even more melees, but we'd have to upgrade something, would we? Oh, that's a green slot. I can't replace that slot. So what would I be upgrading in them? Or changing? EP cut free, I think. Do we really need that? Do we really need that? An EP free versus EP cut free. Different elementals, of course. I have an EP cut, I guess. So now we've made her even faster than ever before. What's her current move rating? Still a move of six. She now is 40% faster with her ridiculous attack power. Let's see how that works out for us, shall we? And we need a cast two. Cast two's on you. Cast two's on you. I mean, you could probably use it. Uh, probably nothing else to get at this point, unless I want to do some more slots, maybe. Most of yours are done anyway. Let's get some more level one ones up for you then. Can't get any more because fire, we're just out of course. I actually gave Shara quite a bit more EP. Right, here we go then. Let's see what enemy we're facing next. Should I take off the uh, night goggles actually? Yes, 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 yes. Let's give her this. So she now has all that extra eight arts defense on top of everything. She's preventing poison, 50 extra defense. She of course will have that negative defense value on her. We're making terrorizing unkillable analyse is what I'm thinking. Is it gonna work?
It's him. It's Agate. Agate! Crap, we're up against Agate this time? Well, well, this is like it's gonna be a fight to remember. This fight isn't gonna be the easiest, but it's not anything we can't handle. Let's do this, guys. Right. Yep, yeah, and giant horse people. Agate and horses. One of Hell's Jailers with the head of an ox becomes mad with anger after enough damage. Oh. Sounds like you need to end them. When they get to a certain amount. Alright, they resist AT delay. I wanted to get clock downs, of course, going on. So I imagine they might resist that as well. Do you think they do AoE attacks, maybe? Could be possible. So we have reason to buff up Super Analyze. Now if that's the case... I have reason to use some nice other abilities, right? So they're weak to the element we don't have an AoE for, which sucks. Alright, let's get Clock Down out. Let's attack this guy first. Well, technically, I could just probably craft into, like, a, uh, that and really mess them up. But we never know how much these other guys will do, right? Also, that sucks. <laughs> what we just did. Okay. Let's move you to over here. They decided they're going to beat up on Cher, but everyone's spread out now, just in case. So by the look of it, we're not letting him ever have another go. And I could probably flick a both. No, I can't! What the hell? Okay, I want to... Delay that guy again, but it doesn't look like I'm going to get to. So I guess we should start abusing weaknesses. These things move quite fast, so I need to kill them. And they're going for Annalise. Not what we want. We know that won't help us at all. And know that we don't really have anyone in position for those anymore. So this is our target. Mister, over here. In the meantime, I think I'll just uh, top myself up a little bit. I guess going to get a go. Maybe he'll use his long range impede. I hope that separate goes to me. Technically, I want to have someone lock down Agate. But I know that's not that likely to happen at this point. Well, let's use another ascension. Where's our target? Over here. We should really be casting clock up as well when I think about it. I mean, for example, I could phantom raid right now and completely... I could kill that guy. Not Agate nearly down. Oh, strength of speed went up. Oh no. Oh well. All according to my plan. You have clock up, right? I need more analyst power. About flickering over to Agate. We don't want to kill him yet. We're keeping him locked down while we take out this one guy. That sounds like a bad idea to me. I'm guessing he's too far away from Adelaide, so let's hope he walks back our way. Oh. Ah, interesting how you're kind of like moving where you are. Should I just beat this? No. 
I guess I could just move like a normal plebeian. How much HP does this thing have? Because we don't want to take him low enough that he unleashes this thing and I don't have enough to do it. But we can also just maybe rely on someone being able to attack and finish it on that go. Let's face it, he's going to do it and then basically Annalise is going to kill him, right? That, that works. That's the scenario that works in everyone's mind. He is unleashing wrath. Oh, what? HP heal? Ah! You suck. How much HP is left on this guy? Just wondering if it's an Annalise kill amount. I just don't understand how Flicker can't hear him as well. Finish it up. That's two. Do I need to rebuff myself at this point? Now here's the thing. I want to clock down it when it moves into its next form. That's probably going to be highly unlikely at this point. So I'm going to clock up first. We can simply flick it. We've got all our specials up. Everyone's spread out, so they shouldn't really be getting nuked by anything crazy. Alright, let us... Should we not attack on this turn, actually? We'll let him have another go. Make sure I keep my buff. One more flicker. And then that leaves us with so many turns before he even gets to move. I think that's job done, right? I kind of would rather Annalise not even attack the guy. So she banks her attack for next phase. Right, now we can get a clock down. Not weak to anything in particular. We know that certain other things won't work anymore. So it's more about just straight attacking again. You can always make people go faster if you want to. You want know cast clock up on yourself? We're gonna have clock up on everyone at this point. This is the dream, right? Too many buffs and debuffs. Much strategy. Ready for him to use his ultimate? Wipe me out. That'd be funny. I think that's what they call game. When our enemy just straight misses. And it's poison, so it's immune to 80 delay at this point, but it's not immune to poison. Okay. It's not bad to know. Let's just move Cher because she should get another go. Because we could just attack with these two. And then use her special whip ability to let them all go again. If Annalise wasn't already going. So what's the point? I don't need to anymore. Get him, Annalise! Get him good. The tiniest sliver of HP. Oh, you can't attack from there? Well, you suck. Poor Grimoire boy. 
What are you going to do to me in that form? Not much, I can tell you that. What? That was quite a heavy hit. More than I thought you'd do. That's that. Let's move out. Oh, give me that lovely experience. And I like sushi. It's 110. And we get lots of beautiful sepit. Right, two bracelet coats and a proxy puppet. We made the coats out of the big Minotaur things. Found a ceiling stone. Phew, well that's that. For the love of Adius though, he's a damn tank. He certainly is, though I wouldn't expect any less. Still now, we should be able to have him fighting on our side. Mm-hmm, I'm sure Tina will be stoked to hear about this. Let's go back and tell her. And you want to find out what's through the next door? I don't think we ever got to find out before, did we? Like, legit, did I? Two bracer coats is pretty good to get at this point, though. Because Joshua's wearing one, you're wearing one, you're wearing one. Kevin is wearing the Dragon Free Jumpsuit. We can get out to other people. Wait, that's not our teleport? Food is the basis of all. Man can only tread the right path with food in his stomach. Only when you have committed 20 kinds of food to memory shall this door open. Oh? We have found the food door. Oh, we can do that in the future. Let's walk back. Basically, I've just got to eat a load of food. I've got, loads, I've got enough food to have 20 memory food. Easily. What is my current list at? Only at nine. But I have the food. Let's have a look. Uh, it's in healing, isn't it? Yeah. More than enough stuff to make it happen. But I've got to eat it. I've got to eat it all. Well, come forth, Agate. How come we're taking it that I'm part of the party, just looking at the ceiling stone? We changed angles recently on ceiling stones. Ah, that's where our whoops can appear, is it? Or... What's happened to the Lockla? Yay! <laughs> Looks like you got your wish. You wouldn't find hair that red on anyone else. What oh, the hell's going on? Hey, Dan, what just happened? Huh? Uh, Agate! What are you doing here, Tita? I thought you were busy fixing up dinner. Wait a sec. Where is Dan anyway? I thought I just got off the airline and bumped into him. But now you're here and he's not? What's going on here? H hey, hurry up and fill me in. I'm so happy you're okay. I'm so, so happy. Of course I'm okay. We only just saw each other. So short stuff here started turning on the waterworks. You up for filling me in on what's going on instead, Joshua? Wait, hold up. I didn't even know you were back in the bill. And why's the priest here? long story. A really long story. Just in case you hadn't noticed, the rest of us are here too, you know. Good to see you again, my friend. <laughs> Certainly is. I still wish we could trade places, though. What I wouldn't give for Tita to be all over me like that. He's truly the most fortunate man on the continent. Will you shut your traps? There's some really big understanding going on here. I don't like it one bit. Uh -huh. I'm sorry, Agate. I was just so happy that I couldn't help myself. Now all we need to do is save Estelle and the whole crew's back together again. Huh, Estelle? Seriously, how many damn times do I gotta ask before one of you costs up an explanation? This isn't another one of Erica's murderous traps, is it? She must really have it in for you if that's your first guess. Sounds like quite a lot's happened since your parents came back, Tita. 
You can say that. 